Hello everybody, this is Naomi. I've got a quick DIY to show you. Uh, I will show you everything that you're going to need to start with and then we'll go from there. First, you're going to need one of these little mini crates. Then you're going to need one of the little bird houses. So there's that. Then you need a block of the flower foam. Then you need a little bird and you need one of these triangle wood pieces and I was very lucky because this one the paper was already coming off of it so that worked in my benefit you need a background page gonna need whatever color paint you desire paintbrush um, or sponges you're going to need some Mod Podge or glue, whichever one you prefer, and hot glue, and flowers. And I haven't pulled my flowers out, but I'm going to go with kind of a uh, wildflower theme. So I will pull them out as we get closer to getting this done. So the first thing that I would do is remove the paper like I have on this. And I was very thankful because it only caught here, which was right here. And I was able to, I mean, the rest of it, the glue was just not stuck. But I'm not going to discard this. I have another plan I want to do with this. Uh, I'm going to use this. I'm going to make a page for my planner with this. So stay tuned for that. So, this is what I've got. I'm going to take the, the twine off of here. And I have this neat, handy, dandy, old staple remover. Let's see if I can get it up under here. There we go. And this, like I said, this is an old staple remover, but I like it because even with the, the, the bigger staples, it just slides right up underneath it and then you mash the button and it bends it to where you can twist it like this and work it out. So it really comes in handy. So like I said, just up underneath, mash down, twist. And don't throw away your twine because I'm going to use it after the fact. I'm going to drill two holes up here. And the twine is going to hold it here. Or I may put the twine on the back. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this edge right here white. And while I've got all the white or the paint out, I'm going to set this to the side. I'm going to paint the things that I want white, which is that. And I'm with this little birdhouse. There's my little stick, so don't lose it. Stick it back in there. Other than the roof of the birdhouse, I want white. So, these are the parts for the roof, so I don't want those, I want those in a different color, but all of this will be in white. And like I said, I'm putting that background paper here, so I don't need this back covered. I just need this piece here painted. So that's what we're going to do. I'm getting my pull in some paint.
I really hope y'all like this, what I'm going to be making. When I seen this piece and found the little crates, an idea just hit me. So it was like, oh, we'll give it a whirl and see what it, how it turns out. Come on. It ain't got to be perfect. Just put a little bit of color. I'm going to put a little on the bottom. Oops. Just like so. Let's make sure all the rip, the runs are gone. Now I'll set this over here while I do the other. And it can be doing its thing. So And I'm not really worried about the outer edges because it's going to be glued together anyways. And if you get glue in the little peg hole, just take your, like so, and go around and get rid of that excess glue in there. And I like to kind of dab it like this and it gives it a little more um, texture. So I'm going to move it over here. come back and do the same thing I did up with the front part of that. Just tap it out and give it some texture. Slide it over and let her dry. Um, this is the bottom. It's wrapped. So these are the side walls. And I will probably have some touch-up to do once um, um, I get it put together. That's why I love this. Because once that dries, you just lightly rub it and it all comes off. Okay, so there's that. Just come back. Put a little sponging just like this. And add it over here. Let it set. This is going to be a little messy. You're going to get a little bit of paint on your fingers. If you don't like paint on your hands, wear a pair of gloves. Me, gloves get in my way. I can't. Get it to work the way I want it to work. Set it to the side. Just like that. Some more glue. I 
Okay, so you, you get the general idea of what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and get this painted. Then I'm going to dry everything up and get it going from there. And then I will be right back. Okay, now I have everything painted, my birdhouse painted, and I took some tan colored and painted the roof. So, let's start putting um, the birdhouse together, and we'll go from there. So, I'm just going to use some hot glue and yeah, start putting this together just like so. Come on. And I didn't get it lined up. And pull it back apart. So, one more time. Put some hot glue down. Line it up on the edge, just like so. There's that. And. This one just like that. So, there that is. I get over here where you can see what I'm doing. And a bead of hot glue. Down this side, just like so, and then here, just like so, line her up. Once you get it in here and get it glued, and I think I need to use some other glue. So, hold on a minute. So I used my uh, art glitter glue and hot glue, and I've got it put together now. So I'm fixing to put the little bird uh, stick on it. And all I'm using is the art glitter glue that I've got in this little bitty um, fine tip bottle. And I'm going to stick that just like that. And like I said, I got some edges that I need to come back and paint. The back I'm not worried too much about, but this front I'll need to paint up it. So. You can't see it so now we can put the uh, top on and I'm just gonna do the same thing I'm gonna use my art glitter glue just like so and once I get it attached good 
then I will put a fine coat of hot glue to help hold it. In place. So I'll come in here, put a dab of glue here and right here. And that will help it stay where I need it to stay. So there's that. Then I will bring this one. And I'm going to come all the way around all three sides just like this with a good bead of glue and I'm even going to put a bead of glue here that way as they bud up to each other they will seal as well so Lay it on its side. Match up the sides. And any glue that seeps out, just take a baby wipe and lightly wipe away the extra. And come on in the inside. And put it good bead of glue here, a good bead of glue there, and along the back wall. Hold on, I know that's my husband. Okay, like I said, that was my husband. So now I'm going to come on this side, put a stream of glue here. I'm down so far. Another deal. Just like so. And I'm gonna put my stand back up. Get my other sticks. Come over here. Line these up just like so. Wipe away any extra. And just hold it. Let it glue. Because you're not going to be able to get any glue on the underneath side. Unless you do it, you know, here. Which, this will be the back side, so you're not going to see it anyway. So, I think I will put a bead here to kind of help hold it together. Oh, and I just thought of something. That's not going to work. I needed that flush. Oh well, I'll just clip it. Because I'm going to glue this to the back of that board. So I want it flush so that I've got this to glue to. So I'll just have to clip it off. Which I can do that. So it's no big deal. I wasn't thinking before I did it. So. <laughs> anyway. We'll just continue to do it the way I'm doing it. And go from there so now you're going to put a bead of glue here down this side again and 
I do have a little bit of touch up, which is no big deal. I'll take but a few minutes to touch it up. So now we come under here. Level it up. Just like so. Oops. Trying to stay in frame so you can see what I'm doing. And I am going to come back and put another bead here. Because I need that to stay. And I'm going to put one in the front as well because I was able to glue from the inside but I can't now so I'm going to make it all mount so I'm just because once it's setting you're not going to see that bead of glue anyways so So now let's just let it dry good. So now I'm going to touch up the white that needs to be touched up, which is like right here. Right down here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make that. Well. like that so that's done okay so now I'm, not, I'm just gonna easily wrench out the white go right into the cream color I'm right under here, just like so. Touch up this. Just like that. Come around to the side, clean up just this little edge. Like I said, don't worry about the back because I'm going to clip it off because I wasn't thinking. And forgot that it needed to be flushed so that it would fit up against the the wall so here's that part I'll do just a few little touch ups where I've touched it and left fingerprint goes and any little bit of glue that comes through you can always give it a little dust of paint it helps cover up any of that okay so 
So there's my little birdhouse. A little bit more right here, and we're done with this. Okay, so we're going to set the birdhouse to the side, let it finish drying. I'm going to clean my paintbrush real quick. Because I don't like leaving paint in my brushes for very long. Okay. So there's that. Now that I'm done with the paint, I'm moving it all together. I don't want it anywhere near what I'm working on. And here is this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and get the foam cut. And get it put in here real quick. I see some splatters that I want cleaned up real quick. That's glue. This can be thrown away because it's done with. Uh, keep the string. And the bird mouse thing is done. So, now I need this piece. Let's see, I know I've got a knife in here someplace. Okay, so. I want it like that. that. Now let me take the plastic off. And I still got a good chunk for another project. So this is going to fit in here like this. So now Hold on a second. Let me get my knife. Okay. And I just take a better knife from that point and just run it. Because you didn't cut the biggest majority of it anyway. So, and with all of this, take my duster and I just remove all of that. That just drives me nuts. And it don't take much. But that duster picks up all of that. Get it off my knife. Because I don't want it all over the place. And so now I'm just going to Take my hot glue gun and I'm going to run a bead of hot glue here. Don't have to be perfect. Just like so. Let me take this and you just set it. Just like so. 
And there you go. So that part's done. Let me get this out of my way. Put this back up here where it goes. Scissors. Okay, so now I want this. And let's see, what did I do with the actual cutout of it? Oh, it's right here. So, let me move this one more time. So, I'm going to put this here. Just like that. And take my pencil. Just like so. Right to the corner. And up to this corner. And there's my piece. So give me just a few minutes and I'll get this cut out. Okay, now I have this cut out. So I want this. Get my Mod Podge. And this is the one brush that I use for my Mod Podge. So, I'm going to put me a bit of Mod Podge on here. like so okay so let's set that down real quick I have one of these things like this that I like to use. I forget where I got this from, but I love it. That's why I punched a hole in it. That way I could find it at all times because I hang it up and it just takes the air bubbles right out of things like this and there you go so I'm gonna come back is around the edges any glue that draw it out. Okay, there we go. So there's that. Isn't that pretty? So what I planned so what I need to do now, I need to get my snips and snip these off real quick so that it will set flush here. So let me do that real quick and I'll be right back. 
Okay, so now I've got this clipped. It's got a little bit of an edge, but not too bad. So it can still be mounted right here to where it'll stay. So that's all that matters because this box is going to go right here and this little birdhouse is going to set just like this. Just like that. So. Let's get this attached here. Well, no. I want to get my jude string back down here first. So I'm going to put a good little gob of glue here. Get my jute string here. And I've got some small strips of cardboard. And I will just do this here, and mash it down, and glue it to it. That way that doesn't come back up. Put a little bit more under here. Like so. Now we'll cut another one. Just like that. And bring this one over here. God, it is so nice today. The sun is out and uh, warm and So nice. We've been waiting for weather like this for a while now. And we're finally getting it. Okay, so there's that. That's not going to come back off. But I am going to add some more glue. Back here, Let me get these glue strings off. Okay, so there's that. Perfecto. So my first thing is I'm going. Let me close this back up since I'm done with it. I put aluminum foil over it so that. It doesn't dry out. And I forgot to say we're going to need some um, E6000 to put on here as well. Stuff is so thick. And do it like that. And come back with your glue gun.
Okay, now put your ease, your hot glue right behind it. And then I want a little bit where it's going to set on that ledge. Just like so. Press hold. like so and connecting my new glue stick just like so okay so there's that now I'm going to do the same with this get my E6000, I'm going to put it where the thicker part is. Because it's going to need it for the support. Jeez, that stuff is... And I've got my wind... I got my... right here now we're gonna come down here and we're gonna place it down hold it Get this E6000 closed up. Jeez Louise. I don't use that stuff too much. I have it for when I need it, but other than that, I don't use it much. Alrighty. So there's what the front of this looks like so far. And I had a little bit of hang off here, so I'll clean that E6000 off so that it's not sticky and I don't get it all over the place. But let me do it this way. It looks like I'm fixing to, have to shut my door over here. Okay. I got the bird put on so that's what this looks like so far now I need to get my flowers and I have a few things that I'm going to kind of decorate the front I don't know I'm trying to think of whether I want to put some like um, ribbon designs on the front of the the little box or not or just leave it so let me get the flowers and we'll start from there okay here are the flowers that i'm going to be using it's just called a, a blooming branch which are these and i'm going to use some of these they're just called blooming branches too then i've got some of these little purple cattails that i'm going to use not pretty then I used part of this on my reef and I've got some pieces left 
that I want to incorporate in this as well. Some of the, um, you know, what do you call it? Uh, I want to say blue bonnet. So there's that. And then these here. So, and probably with that, I'm going to just use a lot of the greenery off of it. So let's get some of these clipped and we'll get started. So, I'm just going to clip off so many for now. And as I need more, I'll clip more off. that um, there's that so so far I've got two of these clipped let's do one more because I don't have all of the, the greenery for that one. So there's three of those. There's that one. And that one. So there's that. We'll set these other ones to the side. Okay, let me get all these clipped out. And then I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Now I've got my piece here. I've got a small, it's a black Folgers lid that I use to kind of balance things off. That way, whenever I need it, I've got it as to balance it. So. I want them at different heights. Some of these I may. Hmm. I like the grass greenery because it gives it a little bit of extra something. So I want to keep that grass in there. Oh, what did I do with my clippers? Because I don't want another one to go in the back back right here. Okay. So I'll start sticking these in. I like 
these. So, because I want them at different heights. Okie dokie. So now I want to start adding some of these, but I want some of them shorter, like so. Adding some more greenery in just a minute. Just like that. And there we go. So, I'm just taking this little flower here that doesn't have a long enough stem to poke down in the thing. So, I'm cutting that last little flourish off. And then I want this. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? I want to fix it so it looks like this bird is holding a limb or something in his feet to cover up um this little metal um, brand. So, trying to figure out how I'm going to do that. Because I want to make it look like he's holding it. While he's sitting there on that limb. So, let's put a little bit of hot glue here. Let's see if we can get it to a ease. And help cover that up. I 
think while I'm at it, I'll take some of this little greenery that I cut off of that one and put it on some of these other areas that might show that that way you can't see it. All right. I think we've got it. We only need one more little piece right here. So help cover that up. There we go. Looks pretty good. Alright, so let me move everything out of the way real quick so I can give you a better picture of it. Here's what it looks like all together. And I will take some snapshots of it as well. I think it just turned out gorgeous. And I got these hanging over the, the birdhouse. That way they're not just, oops. Not just um, standing in there, if you know what I mean. Isn't that pretty? And see how I fixed the, the, it looks like he's holding stuff to go into the birdhouse to make a nest with. So, if you like my tutorial, hit the like and subscribe. Help me keep crafting and help me keep growing. And y'all have a blessed day.